We're reacting to KSI, this guy, aka Alex Wasabi, wants to humble me. Let's go. Yo, what's up? It's your boy KSI. Hey. How are you all doing? Your boys got back from Vegas. Had a great time with the boys. But uh, I'm back and uh, a lot of bullshit. <laughs> a lot of things have been said and a certain person believes that they can beat me. So, you know what, without further ado, <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, I think it's kind of funny that I'm talking about this guy who can't even get a million views on his video. <laughs> and fam, how long has he been in the game? 10 years plus? Bro, 11.5 million subscribers. Still can't get a million views on his videos. Hilarious. <laughs> Well, kind of do. Let's let's begin. I uh I uh, I'm like I'm not saying shit on that one. I can't talk on that. I just saw <laughs> KSI's reaction video to mine and his little brother Deji's fight. The more I think about it, the more heated I get. So I'm gonna try my best to keep a level head throughout uh through this. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Wasabi is getting angry. We won't like him when he gets angry. <laughs> he might start waving a fist. <laughs> he might start raising his voice. <laughs> he might even deepen his voice to, to, to try and sound more intimidating. I mean, you can tell that he's very serious when he's added Intimidating music in the background. Ooh. To be fair, the lighting is hella dramatic. He's got great mood lighting in his room. I don't know what he uses it for regularly, but he set the tone in that video Before with the I light. About it. Like, tell me this isn't the best lighting for a YouTube call video you've ever seen. It's like a perfect vibe. The more heated I get. So, I'm gonna try my best to keep a level head. <laughs> Oh, bro, I'm ready. Let's go. You actually made Alex Wasabi look good. You made this man look good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hey, yo, look at Alex Wasabi huffing and puffing away. That's a great thumbnail face. This is a phenomenal thumbnail face. Put this on a reaction channel every single video. We'll get those views back up to a million like that. <laughs> Just react to people doing crazy shit like he's you're good to go. <laughs> he's furious. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Pure intimidation. If you haven't seen KSI's video that came out yesterday. Hey, yo, hold on. What do you mean if you haven't seen KSI's video? Nigga, everyone saw my video. <laughs> Over 5 million people watched my video at it. And less than a million watched yours. If anything, more people are gonna watch your video through me than your video through you. <laughs> like, I guarantee this video right here is going to get more views than yours. I guarantee it. <laughs> so please, Alex Wasabi, man, we are not the same. Put some respect on my name. Think of me doing a try not to laugh gets more views in one month than you get in a whole year. All your videos combined don't reach my video in one month, bro. So shut up. <laughs> you wise, Alex, I shit on you same with jake paul and all these other scumbags <laughs> so so please alex don't don't ever say that shit again <laughs> i need a lore master i didn't why is jj so mad at alex aside from deji is it just after deji or is it before deji what happened because i i don't remember anything between alex wasabi and jj until alex fought deji when did this start? Okay. I need a, I need a lore master because I'm confused. I feel like the hostility is at like a ten, and I expected like a six. Going to get a little blind. Everyone saw my video, and no one cares about you. It is Whoa. pretty much just him doing everything in his power to make sure that if his little brother isn't already at rock bottom, that he a hundred percent is now. What do you to mean? To be fair, guys, my favorite part of YouTuber beef is when they just like grab these screenshots of people being like looking terrible it's my favorite this is my favorite part of youtuber beef because it's so petty and does like nothing like i've never been someone like damn i was really on jj's side until that picture i mean until i saw that picture which is probably like man's vinegar strokes and i was like i'm done i'm done i can't i can't mess with him anymore it's so petty it's so funny i love it everything in his power and everybody does it to make sure that if his little brother he called him out back in the day, rock bottom, that he 100% is now. What do you mean? 
He should be at rock bottom. He lost to you. This was meant to be his redemption fight and he lost. So what do you want from me? Do you want me to lie to him? Digi, don't worry, bro. You won that fight. I'm pretty sure you knocked him down like five times, even though that might have been because that's when you have to sit down during the one minute break in a boxing match. But still, we take our wins when we can. And hey, at least you did better than the last fight, even though the last fight was dog shit. But still, it's a dub. You said you were going to beat Alex. Why is, the, why is the person who comes out of this, the, oh, I feel like Deji's catching worse strays than Alex is catching. Deji's the one getting massacred so far in this video, even more than Alex. I'm just like, oh, poor Deji. Sorry. And you didn't, but who cares? Oh. You're Deji. You're, you're the greatest. Even if you lose, you win. You're the best, Deji. You can beat okay. anyone you want. Jake Paul, Joe Weller, Nissan Gibb, anyone. You can do it, Deji. Is that what you want? <laughs> Seriously, like what are we doing here? He's my brother. I know him better than you. <laughs> I know me talking to him in public will get to him more than me talking to him in private. Look at what happened when we were beefing each other. Only when I started talking publicly was when we actually stopped fighting each other. Deji told me that he was going to win this fight no matter what. And he didn't. So how the fuck am I going to be happy? First of all, Deji, without a doubt, put in more work in this camp to get ready for this fight than he ever has before. He was in the best shape that anyone has seen him in. He put in the to be work. Fair, I feel like that's not true. I feel like that's not true compared to the Jake Paul fight. I think, especially when it came out afterwards, like how long Deji said he was in camp when he was with these trainers, with that trainers. I feel like he seemed like he was in better shape in the Jake Paul fight, yeah? He lasted the entire fight and he showed heart through Same with Jake Paul. I believe that I fought that's the not best true. Deji, the prime Deji. This is the best Deji has ever been. If this had been I a rematch Jake with Vinny Hacker, this Deji would have destroyed him. I believe that. This Deji wouldn't have thrown a punch. I feel so like he, he would have beat Vinny. I don't think he would have destroyed him. He probably would have won a decision, though, if he was this Deji. I think Jake Paul Deji would have destroyed Vinny, though. I've lost again. <laughs> of course he's going to last the entire fight. All he focused on was defense. Stop trying to act like you fought the best Deji of all time. Because you did it. I thought the best Deji when we sparred a week before your fight with him. And that's why I don't understand why I didn't get that Deji when he was fighting you. Especially when you're way worse than me. He showed no heart in the fight against you. Like what the hell, Are we, we were watching the same fight. The fact that you were able to say hi to a fan during you fighting Deji says it all. <laughs> To be fair, that's a really good point. <laughs> to be fair, that's a really good point. I do fail, Isle, but I don't think he's just pretending to be nice. I've noticed this is a, I, I can't speak to boxing, but I know like when people compete against each other, I think they often leave feeling very good about the other person. It's kind of, it's a weird thing that happens with a lot of boxers or MMA or even jujitsu. When, when people compete each other in a one-on-one -on -one event, they often gain like respect and love for each other regardless of how close the competition actually was so if i was going to read this as nicely as possible i think alex truly feels these positive things about deji and he probably wants to because then it makes him feel more positively about himself and his performance like the better deji w was and i'm not saying he, i don't think he's pretending i think it he has respect and love for deji because of what they did in the ring together. And he's obviously going to be biased because he was the one who was fighting. He also might not have watched the fight. And a lot of times fighters have a much different perspective of what actually happened in the fight than what happened, especially if they haven't watched the tape, which I don't know if he has. Hey boy. Hey, what's up, man? It does feel a bit, it feels a bit extra, but often fighters don't, they have a really skewed perception of what happened in the fight. Like, how many times have y'all seen, like, an MMA fighter who clearly got beat? It's like raising his hands when they're doing the judge's decision. And then he's like, wait, what? I lost? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. It does feel a bit extra, though. I do agree. I don't, ag I don't agree with him. I, I don't know if it's a bit extra. He's just trying to, like, gas himself up and hype the JJ fight, baby. I don't know. That shit with me. <laughs> Try seeing if you'd be able to say hi to a fan if I was in the ring with you. When he fought Jake, it was Jake's first fight, and they fought with headgear and 16-ounce gloves, and he still busted his nose. And Jake's taller than me and probably has a, a longer reach than me. And when he fought Vinny, he was rocking Vinny the whole time. He just didn't have the cardio. But when he fought me, I knew from his previous fights 
what he does, and I made sure to shut that all down. Deji has power and quick counters. Him slipping and countering is how he hit Vinny so many times, over and over and over. So I shut that down. Knowing that he was fast, I would throw, and if I missed, I would fall in so that he couldn't counter. I would close the distance so I could take away his greatest strength. And whenever he did throw, whether he landed or missed, I would respond immediately to deter him. It wasn't just an accident, I planned it that way. Oh, he really thought he did something. <laughs> you really thought you... <laughs> you really thought you had boxing skill. Okay. <laughs> boxing skill in order to defeat my bro. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> my brother hardly punched. Ah. He's still afraid of getting hit. Of course you were going to beat him. <laughs> Do you really think you can cross step into me? <laughs> You think you can you know, do that shit to me? <laughs> to me! Alex, you're, you're an ant. <laughs> if you didn't fight my brother, I would pay no attention to you. Your existence. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of, oh, whoa, thank you so much, Cal. Thank you for the sub, baby. Uh, guys, I'm not gonna lie though. The biggest thing I'm coming out of this is I'm actually like getting hype at the idea of JJ and Alex fighting, which I didn't think was ever gonna happen, but I'm like, is this fight gonna happen now? Is this gonna happen? Is this fight gonna happen? You know what's funny? To be fair, like JJ never said Alex isn't a nice guy. <laughs> JJ's like, he, he didn't say he doesn't think Alex isn't a nice guy. He's just like getting pissed about his claims, right? Bro, I don't, kinda hope it happens now. I feel like it would be really fun. It's pointless. Even just the buildup would be fun. Like there's beef, there's a story. It'd be a good, I, I kinda wanna see it now. I, I think know. it'd be fun. You're a side quest to me. <laughs> It's that hundred percent completion. Let's what go. Wasn't that Deji didn't want to throw? I'm invested. I just shut that shit down. No, no, he he didn't want to throw. He didn't want to throw because he didn't believe in his cardio. <laughs> Gotta remember that throwing punches is tiring. So if you're only focusing on slipping punches. You're doing half the job, and then that's gonna save your cardio. So uh. now on to Big Brother KSI. This guy is literally a child. In a grown man's body. Bro, you need to chill out. Damn, ladies and gentlemen. He got me, man. What an insult from Alex Wasabi. I told you guys you won't like him when he's angry. Jesus. Your voice is higher than women that you've been dating. You are such a bitch that you cry when you're masturbating. You gotta sit down every time you gotta pee. Thinking that you're scared when you're talking about me. Bro, you need to chill out. Oh! Unbelievable. How can I compete? How can I compete? How to be I fair, I feel like I feel like everyone would just be like, oh, well that's no fun. <laughs> Come on, man, say something mean back. Why would you say something mean back? Come on. <laughs> I'm like, Alex, no, this is why you say something mean back. We're all having fun. You gotta roast him, man. Come on. <laughs> Put the hate on me, like you've been doing for years. Make a make a laughing at Alex Sabi three. I don't care. But why do you have to put your brother down? Does it make you feel better? Oh, don't worry, bro. I'll make sure to make a love in Alex Wasabi 3 if we ever fight. I'll be sure to film it after the fight when I He said him. if. He said if. To everyone, how shit you are. And Alex, I'm not trying to bring him down. I'm trying to send him to hell so he can wake the fuck up and be serious for once. I need him to be serious about this boxing thing, man. This is your little brother. I can understand tough love, but... Why do you have to be unnecessarily mean? Because after three plus years of boxing, Deji still doesn't understand what it takes to win a boxing match. Clearly, you have a different way of dealing with your brother. Mine is tough love. Yours is, I don't know, ho hugging your brother when he shits on your face. Family is what? everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Everything. Like, come on. That was so out of left field, boys. I'm so confused. Come on. How am I the one defending your little brother? You're defending him. It's just rubbing salt in his wounds and repeatedly slapping him in the face of the fact that you were the one who was actually able to beat him. After everything. I, I do feel like, I feel, I don't think Alex was lying, but I do feel like it's not, it's not really defending when what he's saying is not true. And I don't think what he's saying is true. Even though I don't think Alex is like intentionally lying, I just think he's really biased. But it, I don't think it helps Deji or is actually nice to Deji if you'd be like, oh, that was your best performance. When I don't think 
myself or I don't think most people think that it was his best performance. I haven't seen anybody except for Alex say they thought it was his best performance. You get what I'm saying, y'all? Man has been through. You just had to pile on. Yes. I don't think Alex is being like mean though. You had to add your two cents. Yes. Nothing encouraging. No, hey, I'm always here for you. You couldn't even muster up a single encouraging word. The, the whole video was just, your whole video. Yes, Alex, my whole video. Hey, take care, Ed. Was my whole video. Whatever the fuck that means. Now, let's not act like I haven't supported Digi my whole fucking life. I mean, how do you know I haven't given him words of encouragement? Do you know that I've told him to go see a therapist? Because I've told him how beneficial it is and how it's helped me in my career and my thoughts and feelings and just in life in general. Of course you don't know. You know why? Because he's my brother. Don't tell me how to be a brother to my own brother. You've got your ways and I've got mine. Everyone is different. There isn't just one way to do everything, you know? This is your brother. This is your, you're supposed to lift him up. I've lifted him up several times, but sometimes you just gotta give him a fucking reality check. Oh my gosh, if, if anybody talked to my little brother like that. What are you gonna do? No, I'm intrigued. What are you gonna do? I do feel like the press conferences would be really fun. Let's be honest. Are you guys get a little hype at this maybe happening? To me. <laughs> <laughs> if I talk to your little brother like that. You know what? Let me talk to your little brother. Uh-oh. Hey, Alex Wasabi's little brother. How's it going? Just wanted to let you know that you suck. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, being related to Alex Wasabi automatically means that you suck. I know it's a lot for you to deal with right now, but hey, at least you're not Alex Wasabi. Bro, you need to chill out. <laughs> you even went in on Deji for being humble and interacting with his fans that traveled all the way to Wembley Arena to support him. Wembley Arena isn't even that far, fam. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> what really annoys me? And you think that's man? funny as hell? Alex is like, I'm from America, so everyone traveled that far. It, that, 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 I think that one's funny. It was when you that's, were asking the crowd straight after losing, being like, yo, should I fight again? Should I fight Dude, again? Dude, JJ is the best heel though, boys. I love it. I, I think it's so funny when JJ goes into fight promotion mode and just goes like crazy talking mad shit. I think it's so funny. What up, Dari? How you doing? Why are you asking them? JJ is so good at like getting people mad that aren't in his fan base. Like, I think it would be so funny to see the promotion for this one. Alex is like... The babyest baby face ever. JJ, so good at being heel. I feel like this would be great, great from a promo perspective. This would be fun as hell. They, their decision. How do you even go in on somebody for that? Because Deji tries to follow in my footsteps and doesn't realize that he can have his own path <laughs> that isn't related to me. He just needs to find out what he enjoys doing and focus on that. Whether it's boxing, YouTube, acting, or even rocket science. Then he needs to figure out what his path is and walk down that rather than feeling that he has to prove to me and the public that he can do everything that I can do. I'm so mad, I can't, I can't even- Oh shit! Oh damn! Alex Wasabi is getting angry! Hold on tight ladies and gentlemen! We're in for a puppy ride! When you have a little brother, they look up to you. Your voice becomes the voice inside their head. What do you think your voice is sounding like right now inside your little brother's head? <laughs> Mo, you're dirty for that one. Mo, you're dirty for that one. Why do you do that, Mo? <laughs> Pulling him into being Yeah, a this better... isn't fair. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. <laughs> This isn't fair. This is this is just not fair. JJ's got Mo on his side. This JJ's got Mo. <laughs> Again, poor Deji. I still feel like Deji's getting memed even more than Alex is than this, bro. I feel like I feel like JJ's going at Alex and it's like, oh, okay, that's a little hurtful. Like a six out of ten, seven out of ten. But I'm like, dude, Deji's still getting it at like an eight or a nine, even from Mo. Their fighter tactic. Did not work. Yeah, someone get Alex. Someone needs to get Alex a funny ass editor to level it to level it as we get the build up going. All right, Mo is gonna have to moonlight to promote this fight because we need some more heat coming from Alex's side. All right, if Alex is gonna be nice and babyface, we need to give him an editor who's gonna be mean and memeing. 
when he lost to Vinny Hacker. <laughs> yeah, give give Alex chip fat. Give Alex chip fat. Let's really have Mo and chip fat go off on each other. Give some real spice to this beef, yeah? What makes you think that going in <laughs> on him even harder after this loss is going to help? Vidal and I went in hard on Digi uh, for the Jake Paul fight. He left, I, I believe, a month or two before the fight actually happened because he just couldn't hack it anymore. And even still, we managed to get one of the best performances he's had in the boxing ring. And keep in mind, he was new to boxing at this point. For the Vinny Hacker fight, I left him alone and, well, the less said about that, the better. And for the fight with you, I only got involved a little bit. So clearly, when I'm hard on Deji, he, he performs better. Shit, it's almost like I, I, I know him. <laughs> In your video, you kept saying, I'm not talking to my fans. I'm not talking to the audience. I'm talking directly to you, Deji. I'm not talking to all these people. I'm talking to you, Deji. Then do that. Why do you have to publicly shame him? Because this works. This is how <laughs> I get through to him. It's a shame that it has to be this way, but he, he cares too much about what the public think about him. Talking privately means he can't be held accountable. Whereas when I speak publicly, God damn it, he listens. <laughs> He actually listens. Let's be honest. To be fair, I, I to be fair to Alex, I feel like that's kind of how I felt a little bit. I was like, oh, I'd be a bit uncomfortable with this being in public if it was my relationship. But I think you have to remember, it's not like Deji's just some random dude. Deji's also a massively successful YouTuber with millions of subscribers, which I think just changes the dynamic entirely. And they've also like been having elements of their relationship in public. You know what I mean? I, I do think that changes it a lot than Alex, who's probably thinking of his brother, who I don't think is a YouTuber. And he's like, oh, I would never make a video about my brother. And it's like, yeah, of course, he's not a big ass YouTuber. And he hasn't shown that that's like a legitimate means of communicating to him is, is airing it publicly. You know what I mean? But I get where I get where he's coming from. I get where Alex is coming from. But I, I do feel like it's just different. And everybody's relationship is different. You didn't make a video for Deji. You weren't talking directly to Deji. Oh no, I was. You gotta remember, I don't make money for my YouTube videos. I mean, I will after August because my deal with uh, BMG uh, ends. So that shows I didn't do it for the money. I didn't do it for the views because, like I said before, I get more views doing a try not to laugh. So what what does that leave me with? I guess you could say I did this to boost my ego, uh, even though my ego is already fucking massive. <laughs> I don't, I don't no way. Okay, you know what, JJ, come on. I don't know why I would <laughs> need to. JJ and ego? No way. Do a video like that just to boost my ego. It doesn't really make much sense. I literally did that video for Deji because I care about him. Him losing to you is like me losing to you. He's an extension of me. And when I said congrats to you in the medic room, fam, like, do you do you know how hard that was for me? I, I don't like losing. I, I want everyone around me to win. Deji has lost three times in a row. I, I can't let that run. I left all this beef between us go. I let it go. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go to London. I'm gonna get in the ring with Deji, with the whole entire UK against me, that we would let this all go. Win or lose, it'd be done. No more beef. After my fight, I even took the time to greet you in the ring to make sure we were good and put all this to rest. JJ, JJ's so mad. And I was expecting a JJ's fuming. fair play Alex Wasabi tweet. Something like that, like you did for Vinny. I guess that's just too much to ask from somebody like you. Shut the fuck up, man. I gave you your congrats when I saw you in person. What more do you want? We are not cool. I am not your friend. You beat my brother, so you have one over me. And I don't like that. So what the hell? I'm not gonna tweet you, you twat. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> Guys, I think I this build like Dude, you. this build up will be so fun. This build up will be so fun. If they fight, please let them fight. Just do me a favor and so keep that weight up, boy. Cause if you Ooh, what'd he say? I don't like you. What'd he say? Just do me a favor and keep that weight up, boy. Cause if you come anywhere close to entering my weight class, I will humble you. <laughs> humble me! <laughs> Still 
fuck you bro, up. Tell me, tell me that this fight doesn't sell itself. Big bro coming to avenge little bro. Oh, I'm, what are you doing? I want to fight. I am a different beast. <laughs> if I set my mind to something, I accomplish it. I succeed in it because I am relentless. I'm obsessive. I'm addicted to that fucking thing. You, Alex Wasabi, are an insignificant piece of shit that happened to beat my brother. So, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare think, I just think you can humble me. And I guarantee Every you. time, I feel like Alex gets it. And that was pretty bad. That was a good one. Like, that was... Ugh. He got Alex a little bit there, but I'm always like, shit, Deji still gets it worse in there. That your little brother, being the good man Do that he is. Do you not think KSI is being a bit of a dick? Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone doesn't think JJ's being, he's being a massive penis. <laughs> oh, for sure. That's what it is, though. It's a talking shit for the fight, right? That's what it's all about. We'll be there. JJ's the bad guy. Alex is gonna be the baby face. I, I, this is awesome. The pieces. Oh. I, I don't think anybody who's watching JJ wouldn't agree that JJ is being a massive, massive dick. <laughs> For sure. Well, he's gonna pick up something. But I also think if you say, well, does anybody care? No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking mouthpiece. After I've slumped you on the ground, bro. Did They're you? gonna fight, man. They're gonna fight. Like, what's I? I I feel like if you're going to fight, what's wrong with telling people you think you're going to wreck them? You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that that's what you had to deal with. You are an absolute legend. You are a legend, bro. Never giving up. Always getting back in the ring. And watching your maturity grow with each fight, that's something that your fans, including okay, me... Okay, let's take it easy. His maturity's not growing with each fight. Let's be honest. There was a, there was a big old dip in the Vinny Hacker fight. Like, eh, it wasn't each fight. It wasn't each fight. Is going to take... Yeah, JJ himself says he's the bad guy, guys. And apply to their own journeys. They're going to learn from that. And that's that's you. You got what it takes. You got the discipline. You get better each time. Okay, not each time, but the last... <laughs> See, even Alex is like, okay, shit. I'm laying it on a little too thick. You get better each time. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Even he, he's like... <laughs> and that's that's you. You got what it takes. You got the discipline. You get better each time. <laughs> yeah, not each time, but the last time you definitely got better. The last time you got better. Bro, see, he's even clowning on Deji. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I feel like Alex, I think he's promoting the fight, too. But I just, I feel like he is laying it on thick and kind of patronizing Deji, especially after that. I do think he's patronizing Deji a little bit. I think he's mostly trying to be nice, but I'm like, bro, you can't say anything nice about the Vinny Hacker fight, even if you say nice things about your fight, you know? This is. What you're doing is way worse than Deji because you're literally... Making him look like a bitch. I'm out here annoyed that he didn't show his full potential. And you're out here telling him that he's done well after losing for the third time. And even you broke your nice guy character while trying to big him up. Anyway, we're done with that video because we have yet another video <laughs> of Alex Wasabi. Alex made another one? He was on the podcast. This time with Bradley Martin talking about... Bradley Martin? <laughs> well, you know what? See for yourself. Did you beat KSI? Oh, yeah. That guy hits hard, bro. He, he hits, I remember he I hit guess. me. I was like, this guy hit hard. Yeah, but it's because he has all the weight. If he comes to my weight, we're equal. The only thing he has on me is weight. But if he comes to my weight, then I feel like he's going to underestimate me just like his brother did. Do you think he's been training, like, consistently? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You think you'll beat him for sure? Oh, yeah. Wow. That would be <laughs> like... Bro, if you beat him, yeah. I feel like it would be, like, low-key embarrassing for him i'm not trying to disrespect you no i think it would be too because like he's been like because he fought logan logan's tall yeah he logan's fought big. logan at low at that at 200 or whatever the weight they fought at but that's all he has and if he fights me like at my weight that's my territory that's where i live i feel like that's a bit odd right everybody's surely a bit odd right like ksi who went up in weight to fight Logan and was way smaller and everyone throughout the whole fight and, and the whole buildup was like, okay, yeah, JJ, you know, he's going to be way smaller. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Like, do you guys remember what he said? 
Do you guys remember what he said? He literally, everyone in the buildup was saying like, oh man, I feel like JJ's going to be too small for Logan, who's way bigger than him. I feel like that's weird. Yeah, KSI was the underdog going into that one. It's just odd to say all he's got is weight. I think that's bizarre. Like, Logan had weight on JJ for sure. And height. That's so odd. The only thing... Alex, on, come on. Have on Alex Wasabi is weight. I mean, there's delusional, and then there's... Flat out yeah, even the Sidemen thought that Logan might be too big, remember? <laughs> like, he didn't have a weight on Logan at all. So, by definition, he doesn't have... The only thing he has can't be weight, right? He really thinks that if I went down to his weight class, I would lose. What is your weight? Well, weight is Alex, you yeah. What, 185, 180? Uh, you, you think you'd beat me at that weight? I feel like that is JJ's weight. I still feel like he went up to fight Logan, yeah? Fucking hell, man. You're so... You're so stupid, bro. Like I said, if I was to fight you, it would be easy. And I would show you how easy it is. You're a side quest. Remember that. You're a little ant. Insignificant. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, this has been your boy, Case. Yeah, I'm Tom. Yeah. <laughs> to the bullshit that is coming out of Alex's mouth. So when the fight at, boys, because I think this would be a really fun one. Uh, humble me. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> This nigga is gonna humble me. <laughs> Bro, I'm so tempted just to go down to that way and be like, all right, let's fucking go then. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Win the all day. Right, anyway, take care and peace. Book Alex a transatlantic flight. Let's get him back in Wimley. Would you guys watch it, chat? And YouTube comments, I'm curious. I'd be excited to watch. I think it would just be sick to see JJ Box again at all. This is way more fun of a narrative than any other fight he's going to get, I think. Like, Austin fight would be sick. I feel like there's two options right now, right? It's Mick Broom and Wasabi. And this Wasabi fight is way more fun from, like, an entertainment perspective. There's no narrative with the Austin fight, right? This would be so fun. I think this would be a great fight for JJ to come back on. This would be awesome. Would you guys watch? Oh, we got people watching. Hell yeah. YouTube comments. I'm curious. Well, let me know. That being said, love you guys. I'll catch you next time. This was fun.